Any questions so far? Just these little thoughts. What generated any ideas in your brain? Yes. You mentioned loud you, enough. Do you, well, I don't know if I can phrase it correctly. The only person that could change our uh, mm -hmm. openness towards uh, change is ourselves. Is God. But you said ourselves. Well, meaning you got to pray God that He will open. Right. So we are. It's the Lord. Yeah. yeah. The, but I can't be the one right. who makes you open to truth. Here am I, Lord. Send me. Here am I, Lord. Teach me. And see if God's frozen people <clears throat> don't become his chosen people. <laughs> they become his fossilized people. <laughs> and we bury fossils. But have any of you, just in the few weeks of a Bible class, come to understand you have theological distinctions yep. rattling <clears throat> as part of the furniture of your mind that are not biblical? Absolutely. And those things come up too. I even say, I, look, I don't know enough about the fuse to, to, and it could be secondary issues. I don't know. So I research it myself. I don't take a view. And there's several things. Well, that, you must have been uh, rebuked for that. Uh, no, I just. Well, at the Bible well, they college, can't whoop you see, they, they <laughs> taught sinless perfectionism. No, Actually, at the Bible college, it just this just happened uh, about that, about the whole predestination election. I said, well, you know, I mean, God, who knows the end from the beginning, beginning from the end, knows everything in between as well. Well, I just think there's some things he doesn't know or chooses not to know. Which is why I read the Jehovah's Witness talk. Yeah, and I, it just, it, my heart sunk. It really sunk, but yes, these are the times which shows the need yes, for people, sound. People have preachers a, oh, I have a neat idea. God doesn't know everything because he chooses what he doesn't want to know. <laughs> I said, then he had to know it to begin with, but he didn't yeah, want to know it. Yeah. That's a good point. And, uh, the That's whole, logical. But you will find that Jehovah's Witnesses teach, and the Mormons, that God chooses not to know certain things. Hmm. Well, then how could he do that if he doesn't know from... Uh, I don't want to know B or J or I. <laughs> well, you have to know them to begin with to know you, to don't, know you don't want to know them. You don't want to know them. Makes sense. It's like with the five souls was the other thing I said. Well, these aren't biblical. Saved by grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone, according to the Bible alone, all glory to God alone. Where is it not? Right. Well, it'll just stick with the other. Thing. Like, what? And leave everything when do you else start alone? to take? When is it okay to start taking away from God's characters? To start removing the attributes of him that you because don't like. Because you want the attributes. I don't know. Uh, I mean, it boils I'm down to that. in need of yeah. a savior. That's what it boils down to. <laughs> well, you got to understand. You, you have a low self-esteem. You just need a better self-esteem. You go ahead. <laughs> you will discover you could question me. You can challenge me. And I'll open the Bible. And we'll find out who. We'll get down on. We'll, go, we'll do a throwdown on Scripture. Yeah, but when <laughs> someone said, well, I want to argue theology, what that means is I want a bad an idea, and then you, like, bat yeah. at me, and you do an idea. Yeah. Like, I'm not interested in your ignorance and my ignorance. <laughs> <being bad at laughs> <that. laughs> I want to know what God has so to say about it. So don't tell me about Calvin or somebody else. That's fine, but I want to know what God has to say because God said it. That settles it. I believe it. Yep. And see, that's why today we live in an age of tomfoolery, ignorance, and stupidity. Foremost in the pulpit. 